to it. Okay. Hey guys. Okay, so we are. I'm going to. We are trying to do this exercise from Kaggle. It's about deep learning. So uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, so here's the exercise introduction. The TV show Silicon Valley had an app called Seafood that promised to ident identify food in pictures. Demo of the app in the stats tense tense scene. Okay, so identify food. Let's see. Come on, come on. <laughs> this this show is quite funny. It's about uh, entrepreneurs or startup companies in Silicon Valley. Okay, anyway, watch this. Okay, it's it's about um, it, developing an app, whether it's a hot dog or another dog, hot dog. <laughs> that's, that's it? It only does hot dogs? Another hot dog. Okay, guys. All right. Okay. That's that's a cool um, introduction for our uh, deep learning neural network, whatever. Okay. Um, so uh, we're using now TensorFlow. If you're new here, so we are just trying to do this exercise, very simple exercise. Uh, well, I don't know whether it's simple or not. Anyway, exercise for deep learning. As you are probably aware, if you're not living in a cave, that deep learning is the, the major area where um, artificial intelligence is going, right? Because it's so powerful, the algorithm. So deep learning is part of machine learning and machine learning is part of artificial intelligence. So if you can imagine like a, like a big bubble, right? The whole bubble is artificial intelligence, right? It's basically trying... Uh, people trying to build machines that can think basically to assist human or can think better than human or assisting or replacing human or whatever okay right so within this bubble artificial intelligence there's many um, uh, areas one of the areas is called machine learning which basically uh, um, so instead of human um, writing the rules the if then else uh, putting all all of the uh, the the rules of the games in order to accomplish an objective then the machine learning is the one who is learning who is defining what are the rules so as a human we just put uh, fit in data normally uh, a lot of data yeah examples and then the machine will somehow magically will trying to make sense out of it kind of like uh, that's why they call it artificial intelligence like how our brain you know we human being like learn from day to day, day to day if you think about it um, human learns not somebody didn't actually like program our brain right well probably in when you're young really young when our parents like tell us hey hey go to bed you know at 9 p.m hey go uh, wake up in the morning at seven o'clock and then after that do breakfast so our parents tend to tell us what to do step by step you know if we have a like tiger pattern but if you have a nice pattern then probably you know just whatever you want to do right so and and kind of the human being we just we just learn by observing right by watching people right we're not being told actually what to do most of the learning well uh, it's different from school, right? If you go to school, then you're being told what to do, right? So that's why I don't... Mm, not, but that's another topic. Anyway, um, we're getting off, off hand here, off topic. So uh, 
many of the learning i don't know if you've been observing us as a human that we learn through observations right so we get a lot of uh, input we get a lot of uh, observations a lot of data and then we somehow try to make sense out of it like uh, i don't know if you heard the story of uh, newton right the first time newton uh, come up with that come to think about that idea whether there is a gravity or not on earth right he just sit down one day i think it's in england in, in oxford or somewhere in england right and then he observe when the the apple falls so observe right so it's always falling down so he's he's getting that data i bet that's not the first time he sees it right he always probably see it over times over and over again so he get a lot of data and then he thinks and then he ponder and then he asks a question why it always like has to be like going down when something falls down it cannot be like sideways or even cannot be going up or even like 45 degrees angle or 35 degrees why is always like going down like so that's like the power of observation right so that's basically machine learning is it's, it's a different paradigm from the traditional programming if you know but uh, if you're software engineers or if you're been into programming right the traditional programming or they call it software 1.0 is the human who make the rules who define the rules in order to accomplish an objective well in machine learning is like the opposite of that spectrum it's like the pendulum has been like Conf uh, inverted so to speak so and deep learning it's part of machine learning so remember there artificial intelligence the yeah and then inside artificial there's machine learning right right and then inside machine learning uh, so machine learning has so many algorithms like uh, support factor machine uh, xg boost random forest you know uh, linear regression you know and one of the algorithm is called deep learning um and this algorithm is so powerful because it beats the hell of the other algorithm right um so it's being used a lot uh, especially for unstructured data which means um well it's okay i i, I scratch it I'll, I'll make it to be more relatable to human being especially for those that human uh easily like classified from day to day experience like if i see something like like a cup right this one is my cup here right i know it's a cup but for a machine to tell uh to ask machine to define what a cup is is so difficult can you imagine if you ask a uh, uh, programming like in uh, in a traditional programming and you ask the machine to to program to identify how to classify a cup then probably how do you do that like if like if well this cup is red so if the color is red and if there is a i don't know circle there is a curve it's really hard you know so to to put that into like a very concrete uh, if then else rules right so uh but it's very easy for human to to detect this this is a cup this is not a dog this is not a cat right like that that uh silicon valley show it's it's a hot dog not a hot dog for us it's so easy right oh that's a hot dog obviously i mean but machine has difficulty to do that so um so this is the idea of machine learning uh to to basically to 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 make uh to predict something or to classify something that's really easy really like a mundane day-to-day -day job for ordinary people but for machine it's hard because once the machine can do that can automate that process can de detect oh this is a dog this is not a dog this is this is me that's not me this is a uh, john this is not john this is uh sheila this is not sheila this is a computer this is not a computer then this it opens up a lot of possibilities right it's about opening up all of the possibilities possibilities and it will unlock a lot of human potential right then uh, because of that we don't have to do all of this like mundane activities like that are you know like a kind of repet repetitive you know just like uh, we one of the 
uh, area that's really hot right now in terms of deep learning uh, that's being used in the real world is the uh, the self-driving car. So it's like Google with Waymo and then Tesla with their uh, self-autonomous car. So they're, they're trying to make it better and better every day. So just imagine one day if you just go into a car and then you just tell the car, hey, drive me to Target, hey, drive me to Walmart, right? So your car is just like a moving house or it's a mo like a moving uh, computer, right? You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to, to worry about it's going to crash or not because it's like more safe than human, right? And then you can do other stuff inside that car. You can like do more important stuff, more like things that you really enjoy, right? Um, so that's, that's the main idea. So anyway, I'm getting off tangent here. Um, um, so this exercise, right, is basically to um, use a pre-trained model. Yeah. So uh, so the model is already pre-trained, right? Using uh, a model is basically uh, an algorithm or already. Remember, machine learning is the one who make the rules. So when I say pre-trained model, means that. Uh, it's already the the data is already being inputted into the, the the deep neural network, and it's already learning from the data. So probably it can identify: is this a cat? Not a cat. Is this a dog? Not a dog. So it's already pre-trained. The reason why we want to use pre-trained because first is like the cost, right? To reduce the cost because it's still quite expensive to train a model because it's using a specialized like hardware, and it, sometimes it takes a long time too, and then. Three is the data. It takes a lot of data, and and not everybody has a lot of data, right? For a company like Google, Facebook, and um, other companies to gather a lot of data, probably there's no problem. But for people like ordinary people like us, it is quite impossible, right? So there there are many important factors why we use pre-trained model. First is cost, time, and the data itself, right? So we are using a pre-trained model. And uh, TensorFlow is the engine to build this uh, deep neural network. TensorFlow is like a how is it? Uh, like a programming language or a framework, so to speak. Yeah. So here we go. Um, so first, you create an image path. We have supplied image uh, files. I'm gonna make it bigger for you guys, probably. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I cannot make it bigger here. Let's see. Um, so, okay, you have, we have supplied image files to, oh, oh, for, first of those who've just listened, this is a Kaggle, so I'm doing everything on Kaggle, they, they are so nice because everything is there here, you know, the, the GPU, I don't have to pay, right, it's already, they provide the, uh, the, the graphical processing units for free, and everything what I need is already here, okay, so I'm doing this exercise on Kaggle. Um, okay. So, uh, I said we have supplied image to examine, run the cells below to store the file path with the name image path. Okay. So from OS part, import join. Okay. And then hot dog image directory is, is, this is just to specify what directory the image is, right? And then hot dog path is join using the join uh, function. Hot dog image directory file name for file name in. Okay. So I think this this function will will join two pictures. This and this, I think. And not hot dog image directory is from this one, from this directory. Okay. And then this is to join not image. And then image path is hot dog path plus not hot dog path okay all right let's run this one okay see what it does by the way the oh the gpu is off probably i should turn it on yeah i should turn it on it's faster yeah i'll turn it on oh okay re restart okay so i should have turned it on earlier i hope this will be quick uh, in the meantime, we can do some other exercise probably. Let me see. Learn Python. How about this one? Day 3 Python. Okay. 
Um, oh, okay. Hey, it's ready. Okay. Okay. Let's run this. Okay. It's already run. You see if it's running, it's, it's already uh, like giving you one here. That means it's already one time it's been run. If it's not been run at all, it's like blank over here. You can see it. If it's like in the middle, it gives you like an asterisk. So, okay, now we are on the second one, right? The second one is to set up the pre-processing. It's copy the read and prep images function from the instructional page into the cell below. Replacing the stuff for that function that is currently there. So you have import the NumPy. NumPy is a is a library to uh, to basically to do a, a thing, a data operation, right? Or a, like a matrices operation uh, from TensorFlow. Python Keras is a, is a framework on top of the TensorFlow library that makes it like easier to and faster. It's basically abstracting the layer really high level so um, people can really learn just to do or model the uh, neural network faster and easier. So here is import um, from ResNet50. ResNet50 is the pre-trained model. It's inputting the pre-process input, right? It's importing also the ResNet50. It's importing the load image and image array, image array, and then after that, image size is 224. It was this read, read and prep image, image prep image, image size, image width, image size. Okay. Okay. Let's run this. Okay. Looks like it's running, and then modeling. Now we are creating a ResNet50 model, and we save it as my model. Apply the red function to image path and save the result as image data. Use my model to predict contents. Store. You can refer to the page to remind yourself how to do it. Okay. Um, your code goes here. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have to create a ResNet50 model and save it as my model. Apply the read and prep images function to image path and save the results. Use my model to predict the content. Store the result in my preps. Okay, I'm confused right now. I am confused. You can review the instructional page to remind yourself how to do this. Where is the instructional page? Uh, did I? Okay. Deep learning, let's say, with Kaggle exercises. Come on, come on. I don't know why is it slow. Um, nope, nope. Come on. Why is it so slow? Okay. Ah, we are. I think we are here. Programming in TensorFlow and Keras. Hmm. Okay, is this done already? Okay. Okay, we're just going to go really quickly here. X true. Print X. Print type X. If you run this, boom. Okay, so the first one, print X, is true here. Right? And then print type X is class is Boolean. Okay. 
right, just just give you a short like shifting your brain a little bit about python programming okay we're going go, going back here let's see okay here we go starting code prep okay create model okay so this is it um hmm. So create model with pre-trains wait file. Hmm. Okay. Is it the same here? Hmm, image says 224. It's the same actually. Let me see. How, why do you have to import it again? I, I don't think you have to import it again. So I, th I think you just have to do this. um apply the read okay so first i can do like my model right equals rest net 50 and then like that um i'm not sure if i have to do this probably yes I think it is. Let me see. Just click this. How do I know this? I'm not sure. Okay. Just copy it there. There. I have already imported here. Right? So I don't have to do ResNet 50 anymore. Yeah. I already imported here. See this one? I import it here. Okay. Okay. Let's run this. With respect. ResNet 50 is not divine. Oh. 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 oh okay. This has to be camel. Camel case. Camel case. Okay. Apply so this one is I already make my model. Okay, that's done. And then number two, apply the read and prep images function. This one to image path. What does this do? And save the result as image data. Okay. So I guess I guess image data like that right and then i have to use that function uh read and oh, read and prep images is that correct yeah apply the prep to image path what's the image path Image path. I, I, okay, I'm not sure what is it doing. Okay, test data. Okay, image path. Just like that. Hmm. Come on, come on.
and then okay done yoohoo looks like i'm doing good, good here and then number three use my model to predict the contents of image data what is image path here wait Oh, this one, image pass is a hot dog pass and not hot dog, which is basically um, it's the actual JPEG file to JPEG file. Okay. Okay, got it. It's, it's importing the data. Okay. Let's let's look at the file here. Okay. Um, that's is the hot dog. Ah, can I see it? No. Oh, you cannot see it. Okay. join hot dog image I don't understand why is it joining two images yeah I think join is just like putting it I don't know because I cannot see the image here that's if I click this image like JPEG I cannot really see it we it doesn't support right um, hot dog image directory Seafood trend. Okay, probably under trend. Yep, it still doesn't support. Ah, uh, Kaggle doesn't support JPEG. Cannot see it. Okay. Let's see. Join Python. Join. Python. What does it do? Because it's only inputting two um, uh, two Im images. So it makes them into one string. Okay. So in this case is, but I I still don't understand why it wants to make it into like one picture, like one 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 big dancer. I think that's what it does. This why why do why doing this? And it's only doing it like for two pictures. Right, for the hot dog and for the non hot dog too. Two pictures to train. This is this is to, to prepare the the pre trained model. Let's do array. Okay. Where does it being used here? This uh, pre -process, pre processing image. This is using image path, which is um, the hot dog and not hot dog path. Basically, the the, the 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 sample data, right? It's from the which is from the training. Let's say yeah, it's from the training. It's a training data, right? This one. And then the image height is equals to image size. It's using like 224 pixels. Image width is also 224. And then pass. Where is this being used? Why? I mean, I don't know. Probably it's being used some other time. I'm just confused with this. Um, 
a function preprocess input is not being used anywhere, like yet here. The restNet is being used here at the bottom. Probably it's being used down here. Um, image data, red and prep images. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why, why, why you're importing it, but you're not using it anywhere in the function. Yeah. I'm also confused. That's a good question, Danny. <laughs> oh, I'm just asking myself. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, so, where where am I? Okay. I'm on number three right now. No, it's still number two. So, apply the read and prep image function to image path. And save the result. Okay. So, this is basically... Um, Preparing the image, whatever preparing means. Okay, I'm not sure what it does. Um, to be honest, but it's manipulating something on the image because it's just passing these three uh, parameters, which is the the image itself, the JPEG, which is already being joined, two images being joined, and then the the number of pixels for the height and for the width. But um, that's it. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I probably it's just preparing the image into two hundred twenty four and two hundred twenty four, like cropping it. My guess is. Yeah. Is there is there an explanation here? Let me see. Um, read and prep images no there is no explanation too here bloody hell i thought you're supposed to teach me dan come on where is the okay anyway anyway let's go on with this okay let's go on with this this is taking too long already um i'm trying to i'm just trying to understand what's going on here um Bum, 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 bum. So my model is already uh, being prepared using ResNet. Uh, and it's a pre-trained using the weights over here, I think. Uh, it's already uh, pre prepping the input image, the, the, the train for to, the training image to be input into the neural network. And the third, third one, this one is use my model to predict the contents of image. Sorry, the files in my prats. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so my prats. Now we're using the we're using the neural network algorithm. Okay, yes. So my model is the the model we're using, and then to predict the contents of the image there. So image there, I think it's like this. Boom. I think it's just like that. Let me see the cheat sheet here. Yeah. Just like that. Let's learn. Let's run it. Okay. Let's run it. Boom. What will happen? Come on. Come on. Past it. Past it. Past it. Past it. Come on. No. Error. What's going on? Why? Why error? Hmm. Error. Try to convert input to a tensor and fill. I have no idea why it's error. I don't know. I don't know why it's error. 
โอ้โอ้โอเค I have to forget the function predict here. Dang it! Now it should work. Let's run it again. Boom! Oh my gosh! Yeah, of course. Oh, still error. Why? 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 Why error? <clears throat> you should specify the steps argument. What? Self expects as for both steps. It's asking to for the steps argument. Huh? What the hell? What is steps argument? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's wrong. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Why is it wrong? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. It's asking for a step argument. The example doesn't say anything about step argument. So, um, okay, I'm getting nervous now. I don't know why it's happening here. It says you should specify if predicting from data sensors. You should specify the step argument. Self x bet size for both steps. Hmm. I have no idea. Why is this thing like? Copy the red and prep images function from the instructional page into the cell below. Oh. Oh. Replacing the stop for that function that is currently there. Oh, is this what it means? I have to copy this thing? Wait, wait. Image path, image height, image width. Wait, I have to copy this whole thing? Seriously? Okay, let's do it. I think that's this is why it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure what is this doing, but I'm just gonna 
copy it just from the instruction for now and see what happens okay it seems like working right let's do it again let's let's run it again let's run it again boom okay it's working it says number nine here okay let's let's run this thing again this thing that means should work come on come on come on come on come on come on guys work work yes yes it works see this number 10 Woohoo! now visualize your result and comment the lines below to visualize your result okay uh, okay i have to cheat here okay display okay how does this work actually okay okay um but it's supposed to be using my, my model right so everything is already here at my prats right now like the prediction is on my prats right um now you just have to express it to the world so this one let me see display image path most likely label i where's where is the breadth here where is it being used i mean the prediction i don't see it like this is just okay Preparing the, the, the path. Import decode prediction. Oh, here, here, here. Preds here. It's being used. Top three. Class list path. Okay. Top, I don't know, but top three. So this is like this doc. The, um, whether, oh, it's the top three prediction. Got it. Okay. Standards not sure. Like this is the accuracy, I think 54%, miniature schnauzer 42%, and giant schnauzer 19%. Okay. I think if you add this up 54, 42, and 0 0.19, I think that's equals to 1. Okay. Okay. So I just have to click this. Command C. And. I just have to put it here. Oh. Wait. Wait. What am I doing? Wait. What am I doing here? Oh, oh, here you go. Import the decode predictions function we used to get. Okay, so this, this one is, oh, okay. So it's already here, okay. So this one is import dec decode prediction function we used to get the top label. TensorFlow includes an alternative version of this function. Will you use a version optimized for running a calculator kernels? Okay. Okay. So we'll run this. Boom. What?
no module name learn tools uh. hmm <sighs> from decode prediction uh, I don't know why is it like this and comment the lines below to see the sample images and predictions. Yeah, I guess I guess you just have to uncomment this. Right. Doesn't doesn't work. Decode prediction is not defined. Okay. Um, you can add it on the settings step or send us. Hmm. Where is the settings step? Uh, okay. Where is the settings step? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, I didn't know you can do that. Okay, nice. I don't know where is the settings step. Anybody know? Oh, here, here. Wait. Okay, that means... Oh. Um, how... So, learn tools is not there. Okay. Um, GPU is on. Custom packages are not supported for GPU. What? Custom packages are not supported for GPU instances? Oh. Oh. Probably I have to turn it off. Huh? Seriously? Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm learning here. I hope you're still over here. I'm also frustrated with this. Um, but now we can we can get we're gonna be faster. Okay, we're gonna be faster. We're gonna be faster. Okay, let's 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 run this again. Okay, so we we run the uh, the joining of the uh, the pictures. Boom. Yeah. Done. We're not using GPU. I don't think we need GPU. It's only like two images. So, you know, like four images, I mean. Uh, run the pre-processing, you know, mess messaging the data. I think like like padding and like preparing the, the model, importing the model, importing like some of the stuff that you need to import. Um, and then doing some image array. I'm not sure about this image array thing. Um, okay, now modeling. Done. Okay, hopefully that's that's why it's not working. Okay, hopefully because the, the GPU is like on and it doesn't want because it's on. For some reason, the, the, the pack, the, the, under the settings, the, the packages is like you, you cannot use uh, like custom packages. Uh, hopefully that's that's the reason. Um, okay, that's done. Visualize. Okay, and now it's importing the uh, decode prediction. Hopefully this will. Oh yeah, that's work. See, it's working. Yes, it's working. Okay, now this should work too. Boom. Yeah. Yes. 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 Let's see the result. Okay. Okay. Uh, hot dog. 
Okay, hot dog 94%, king crab 0.019, which is basically like only 2%, right? And then cheeseburger is 0.6%. Oh wow. Okay, so it's pretty accurate, huh? Hot dog 94%, king crab, huh? Is there a similarity within this and king crab? Probably a little because of the yellowish thing. And this is probably this cheese thing. I don't know. It's more like a cheeseburger for me. Okay. So that's the first image. This one. This two. Okay. Oh. Okay. Why is this? Okay. Stone is a hot dog 97%. This one is a hot dog, so it's, it's correct. Cheeseburger is almost 2% here, right? And then bakery is like very small, 0.1%. Okay, so, okay. And this is taco. Plate, oh, 67%. Okay, it looks like a plate. Yeah, there's a plate there. 67%, hot dog is um, 8%, mm, probably just the color of the taco, and a burrito, mm, okay, 6%, interesting, oh, this nachos and guacamole, 99%, oh, wow, plate, point, not even 1%, point, point zero eight percent and then mortar oh mortar is really low too it's like 0 0.07 percent right that's cool so it has it predicts like one two three four right okay keep going okay um yeah I, I, that's all guys i think um i'll see you next time see if you have any comment questions we learned this together okay we got this we got this you hear that Siraj Raval? hello world i'm Siraj. no i'm sid hello world i'm danny all right check this out all right we got this together man stay 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 with me okay stay with us we'll got this deep learning here I come. I'm going to crush you. Crush you. Remember, crush you. All right, guys. Peace.